kind of a budget build mid mid western digital this processor what you say? Alright, what's going on guys, it's Vaudis here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be kicking off our new series. So the new series I'll be announcing today, and making the first video today, is the best PC deal of the week. In this series, we're going to find the best PC deals every week, and make a perfect build out of it for anybody with the budget, or has a little more more to spend. We're gonna split the series basically in two different types. This we can do like a budget build, mid tier build, which is typically under eight hundred dollars. And then next week we'll be doing a high end build, which will be over one thousand dollars. So we're gonna keep alternating. And so yeah, I will be leaving every part I've shown in this video in the description box below. So don't even sweat. Just go ahead and check out the description box below if you're interested in building this PC or just checking out the deals. Hope you guys did understand that and and have one more announcement to make. Thank you guys so much for 1000 subscribers. We've been growing crazy. Thank you guys for all the support. I'll have a special 1000 subscriber video up tomorrow. So make sure to stay tuned to that. All right, let's try to get 10 likes on this video. That'd be amazing for the new series. And yeah, let's get on with the video. We're going to be doing an AMD build using all these parts. I'll be going each part one by one to show you guys how it's the best value PC of this week with all these deals that I've found on all these parts. All these prices, don't even look at them. I have found prices that are way cheaper with the same product, with the same performance, and you can save hundreds of dollars. That's basically what this series is about. So going on for the first part, let's start off with the CPU. For the CPU, I chose the AMD fx 8370 it has eight cores guys <coughs> you know what you can do with eight cores you can edit a video while playing a game and it'll run perfectly this cpu has a, a lot of power this is the newest cpu from the amd fx lineup and this cpu is special because it comes with the rate cooler the cooler that is included with the new amd processors is absolutely quiet and it is perfect you can actually overclock with this as well, so you can get more performance. It already comes in as a stock at 4 gigahertz, but I'm sure with this CPU that comes with it, you can actually get it up to around 4.5 with stable temperatures. With this CPU, you can run any game basically. It may not be the max settings on like the most intense games, but like if you want to run GTA, CSGO, Minecraft, or any other games, or any game just like that. I should run ultra settings with over 60 fps with the graphics card i chose this build will be black and red so it's gonna be pretty cool don't worry about that it's cool this pc won't be looking this pc will be looking fly don't even worry about that all right let's go on with the ram i chose the g skill ripjaw series 2x4 gigabyte kit ram a ddr3 and it's only 48 bucks it's on a sale right now. It ends in six days, so get it while you can. The speed doesn't really matter. Okay, it's 1600. It doesn't really matter, as I said. This RAM not only looks cool, but the performance is out of this world. 8 gigabytes is enough for your, all your editing needs and gaming needs. If you're a heavy editor, I recommend you guys bump it up to 16 gigs. But other than that, 8 gigs should do you enough. Moving on to the storage. I just included a one terabyte hard drive from Western Digital. This hard drive has one terabyte for all your movies, games, music, or whatever you need. I do not include SSD at this price range because I don't feel like you need one. You can get an SSD if you have a higher budget. I will leave some recommendations on SSDs if you have a little more to spend. So make sure to go ahead and look in the description. I'll include some optional parts. Western Digital one terabyte hard drive should be plenty for you guys. All right, moving on to the motherboard. This, please tell me that does not look cool. Look at that. It's the MSI 970 Gaming ATX motherboard. It's the top seller, so you know it's good. It's good. It's from B and H. It's 95 bucks. You cannot, you literally cannot go wrong with this. You can overclock. It supports four RAM slots, dual channel. Like you don't even have to worry about anything. This motherboard not only looks cool, but is amazing, guys. The MSI lineup on motherboard, especially the 970 gaming one, is absolutely perfect. It has two PCIe slots, so you can go crossfire, which means you can go two GPUs. Also, it has USB 3. So, all in all, I do recommend this motherboard for the price and the performance. Keep in mind, it's from b and If you guys don't know, b and does not collect tax, which is one thing I really like about it. So yeah, guys. 
I'll leave the link for every part in the description box below, as well as a PC part picker link. All right, for a power supply, that's from Outlet PC. It's 45 bucks, but it's $35 after you do a $10 mail-in rebate. The rebates honestly don't even take long, guys. It takes like two to three weeks, and you get money back. Like you cannot go wrong with it. So I'm gonna say it's 35 bucks for a 500 watt EVGA power supply. Yes, it's ketchup and mustard cables, blah blah blah. But you can get cable extensions for like five to ten dollars, which can make your PC look absolutely gorgeous. 500 watts should be good if you decide to upgrade or add another graphics card or whatever. It's EVGA 80 plus certified, so you just cannot go wrong with this guy. It is non-modular, meaning all the cables will be stuck onto to the power supply as shown here. But it really doesn't matter if the cable management game is strong, especially with the case we chose. There's a lot of room to cable manage. All right, moving on to the good stuff. You guys know. Let's go on to the GPU. For the graphics card, I chose the MSI Radeon RX 480 graphics card. It has 4 four gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. It's only $170. This is insanely cheap for this graphics card. This graphics card can run VR, guys. It literally can run VR. It can crush any game you throw at it. Anything at all. Just throw it. It'll run ultra settings, high settings and any game i guarantee you that especially with the processor it should have no problem okay correct me on every game it won't run like the most intense intense games but today's modern games it should like crush it trust me guys so yeah guys i'll show you some pictures on this as you can see it's white and black to match our color scheme which is black and red and white basically that's our color scheme it has two fans so it looks pretty cool as well and yeah guys i can support g-sync 4k all in all it's a killer graphics card with the price it is at right now which is 170 dollars i recommend you guys getting it while the sale lasts it ends thursday so please get it while you can if you plan on building this pc or just getting this graphics card all right let's go move on to the case for the case which was the corsair carbide series cc blah blah yeah you can tell me this case is not look cool okay this case matches our color scheme and it has a great deal. It's only 50 bucks with the $20 mail in rebate. It's an ATX mid tower gaming case and it's from Corsair. As you know, Corsair is a very, very reliable brand and you just cannot go wrong with it, honestly. It has the glass side panel so you can show off your parts. It just opens up and it seems like it has LED fans on there, judging from the pictures, as you can see there. Oh no, I chose this case just because of the looks and I found out this it has a deal, so it was a no brainer to include this in this video. For 50 bucks, you get a killer, killer case. It not only looks cool, but it will provide a perfect house for your parts. As you can see some more pictures down here, that's how it'll look like if you decide to put it on top of your desk. Add, a, add some LEDs on it and you'll have a perfect PC setup. All right, that's all the parts. Now you guys wanna know the total, right? As you can see, I built it in the PC part picker. This is without the deals, keep in mind. This is without the deals. It comes up to be $706, okay? $706. Now we're gonna pull our handy dandy calculator here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add up all the deal prices. So starting with the power supply is 35 bucks. We're just gonna round it off here. It's 35 plus the RAM, $48, plus the hard drive, which is $50, plus the motherboard, which is $95, plus the processor, which is $195, Plus the graphics card. Please get this graphics card, guys. This graphics card has a killer deal, guys. Don't even miss out on it. It's $170 plus the case, which is $50 equals to $643 as compared to $706 on PC Part Picker. So guys, with the deals, it's saving you almost $100, which you can buy a keyboard, mouse, and possibly a monitor if you look hard enough for deals. All in all, guys, this is a killer PC as well. It's not only about the deals, but the performance as well. This PC will last you years, and you can basically do anything you want. If you're a heavy editor, heavy gamer, or a little bit of both, this PC should do you well. I will leave all the deal links in the description box below, as well as this PC part picker link and also optional parts if you have a little bit more to spend. As always guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, please like the video, it would really mean a lot, and please subscribe down below, 
and also comment down below of what you think about this series should i continue it should i do more parts of it should i do more pc builds let me know in the top comment section below on what you think everything you need will be in the description box below so go ahead and check it out and yeah guys hopefully you guys do have a happy new year and thank you guys also for 1000 subscribers once again i will have a sub special video up tomorrow hope you guys did enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out